I'm telling you that the wrong punk group called it quits. Hi people and hello my Chili Con Carnage crew, it's Chili here, the meta producer's iron from my eyes doing a 5 minute review on The Offspring's newest album, Supercharged. Now, I have been a fan of The Offspring for almost 25 years, and a few years ago I got to review The Offspring on this channel for their album Let the Bad Times Roll, and well, that record was just pure. <laughs> But in all honesty, I had given up on the Osring about a decade prior with their album Days Gone By, which I considered a write-off. I have since rectified this error with another review, but that was the last bastion of former glory the band has had. And so we enter the winter of 2024 with a new album by pop punk's favorite California rockers, and of course that bleach blonde speed dealing sunglasses wearing PhD lead singer. But will the record rectify past issues or only serve to add salt to the wounds of the fans? I'm not gonna lie, the first single Make It A Right is about the most pedestrian thing I've heard the band release in a number of years, and it certainly made me groan and think, Ah oh, shit, here we go again. This album is gonna be a suck fest, isn't it? I get that the band members are getting on in their years, but just what the hell even is this meant to be? Who is this written for? What are they trying to do here? Good god, it doesn't bring me joy to say this, but the group have just lost the plot and become lazy at this point. It's not like they were ever writing complex material, but at least over their career they could write some catchy tunes. The best part about this track is that it's forgettable, and thank fuck that is the case because I'm not going to listen to this song anytime soon, at least if I have any choice in the matter. Now this second single is certainly up to the speed I was expecting from them and is actually a decent tune. Thank fuck for that because it caused a bit of reignition of faith. See what I did there? It got me thinking that the album might actually contain more songs like this and we might actually be onto something I guess here. So let's hear the next single and see if this follows in that tradition. I don't know what is going through the band's mind when they wrote Come to Brazil, but it appears to be a late entry and is a reference to a meme on the internet in perhaps a notable first for a song to be influenced by a picture on your phone you probably forgot that you still kept. So make of that what you will, because this song, it contains some interesting parts in the guitar work, but other than that, it just sucks. And the inclusion of the ole ole ole. Oh. I don't think Brazil wants to use it for their tourism advertising. Even our former Prime Minister ScoMo couldn't come up with something as corny as this when he was on the board for tourism in Australia when he came up with this slogan. So where the bloody hell are you? Well, I would add a twist to this old shithouse slogan and say, who the bloody hell are you, offspring? I'm just thankful that the band did not include a choir of Uvazalers because I would just give myself a nosebleed and jump into the Amazon River with some ravenous flesh-eating piranhas just to escape that haunting sound. So the singles have mostly been duds, except for one. But what about the other seven tracks on here? Wait, only seven tracks? Fuck me, this album is 32 minutes long? I suppose it's a good thing because you can shoot through this record faster than a cold in a childcare center. So should we mask up for this album or is there anything that's worth redemption here? I think the first thing to note is that the album actually sounds decent in production levels compared to their last efforts, which was a steaming pile of crap. However, there is still a layer of crap to this record, such as on the songs OK But This Is The Last Time, Hanging By A Thread, or You Can't Get There From Here But There. And again, there are some really cool songs on this effort as well, such as The Fall Guy and In the Abrasive Truth in Fiction, both of which have The Offspring actually sounding like The Offspring. So I really do appreciate these tracks on the record, and they certainly gave me a boost to enjoy it at least. The last thing that I want to note is that in this current day and age, one thing I want to note in this day and age is that many of our favourite punk rock groups are riding off into the sunset, with the likes of No Effects just recently, of course, performing their final performance ever, and Sum 41 currently doing a farewell tour, which leaves the question as to the status of The Offspring, a band that has been around since 1984, and of course their future. How long do the band have left? How much gasoline is in that tank? As it currently stands, it seems like the band is almost falling apart at the seams with longtime members being replaced and even Dexter taking over bass duties on this studio album, which perhaps explains the lack of inspiration behind those licks. I hate to see the band as they are now, but at least this album has tracks that are worthy of redemption and show the 
band still have energy left in them, so maybe their finale is still a while off. Overall, I will give this album a score of 6.5 million chilies on the spicy scale, with my favourite tracks being The Fall Guy, Light It Up, and Truth in Fiction. This album is easily better than their last effort, but only because that was their worst record ever released to date. This album certainly contains a few duds, but it contains a few studs too. And most likely due to this album being the new kid on the block, I would say that this is their second worst effort to date. But it did beat out Let the Bad Times Roll by a country mile. Would I revisit this album? Probably not. But I might end up adding one or two tracks to a playlist in the end. If you've enjoyed this content, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to us, and stay notified for future music-related content, because it keeps our manager happy at the end of the day. We are also on Discord, Instagram, Facebook, and all those other social platforms if you want to check us out. As always, people, you have a great day, and stay spicy.